Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial in PowerDirector 16 or another how-to video. Split screens. Yes, I've um, used a long time to figure out how the split screen work the way I want it to work. And it seems a lot of you guys out there as well is wondering how this works. Uh, anyways, we're gonna take a look inside PowerDirector and I have found a clip here. Um, and we're gonna split the screen. Uh, this is I use this because I want to see the difference between editing two different uh, things on it, like HDR effect or LUTs or stuff like that. And I know many other people is wondering uh, as well about this. Even if you're a gamer and you have two different takes. Um, like FPS and stuff to compare us with. You want the same kind of picture divided in two or three or four or five. You can basically make as many as you want, but it has been very difficult to get it to work. So first off, I have a little clip here and this is the pulpit rock in Norway. I'm zooming a lot on it. I'm just gonna cut it up because when you do this, you want uh, small files to figure out how you want the LUTs so, and you can write down the numbers and take them on afterwards. I'm in a boat here. But, okay, let's take this little small clip here. And I'm gonna duplicate it. Copy. So, as you probably know, when you have two clips underneath each other, the bottom one will override the first one. And what you want to do to make a split screen, you press on the first one, go on Mask Design on Designer. Now you can find the mask you want to use. I'm going to split it in two, so I will use this one. And to make this work, you have to drag these all the way to the side, then it will show half the picture. You can also go in, um, uh, well, these object setting and you can take maintain mass aspect ratio. You can take that off if you want to, um, you know, crop it in any way you want to crop it. If you want full films in there, five, six or whatever, you can make these how you want if you take this off. If I have the mask uh, maintain a mask aspect ratio, it will basically stay the same no matter what. As you see, it will shrink like this because it has the ratio on. But taking off that, you can basically do whatever you want. Come on. Like this. And only this will show. But today, I'm just gonna leave that on and I'm gonna divide this up in two. So we go into designer and mass designer on the second one as well. Go down and we'll take the second half. As you can see, if you just leave it, it will be a black mark. So we take it up here and we take this all the way to the other side. So what we got here is actually two different layers on. But it seems like a full movie. And you want to see the difference if you make some adjustments. So we can go into the first clip. We can go on Fix and Enhance. Uh, let's take some white balance. Let's see if we can find the white spot. It's not easy. Probably isn't any. Well, this is pretty close to it. You can see it was changing there. And let's say we want a bit cooler temperature on it. Take this down a bit. And we can go to the color adjustment. Let's take the brightness down. Five knots. Just doing this because we want to see a difference. Saturation. One more. Highlight healing. Let's take 30. 15. And let's take 50 on sharpness. And 
And let's see how that looks. I'm going to render this because you might not see much difference because the quality on this is quite low. Um, so I, I will render this and we have a look, but I just want to have a look here first. It is kind of hard to see difference um, on this one. But okay, let, let's make it more um, obvious. So let's take contrast. Do you want it on top? Or... <clears throat> yeah. That, now you can see it. Now you can see it, it is totally split in the middle. You can see the contrast there versus that one. Um, but I will take this up again and I will, will render it and see if we see any difference in it. So two seconds and I'll be done. Okay, so here we have it. I'm going to take full screen on this. And you can see it's a big, big difference. This is non-adjusted, and that one is. I'm not saying that this adjustment was a good one, but it is adjusted uh, compared to this one. But this is how you split the screen, so you can see the difference when you're making movies. The smart thing is to take small portions of uh, of the clip just to figure out, because it takes a hell of a lot of uh, um, time producing or rendering the movie if you have a longer clip and you're just trying to figure out how, which part you want to have. Um, but as, as you can see, you can, it's a lot of details here compared to this picture. As you can see all over, I would probably make this a bit darker if I'm if I would make it, but um, uh, well you can do basically everything and you can do this in so many ways. You can Take it up so much. We're gonna go back to Power Director, and we're gonna smack them. Take some lots on this one. Uh, let's see. Lots is look up table. So I'm not sure which one I. Oh, well, that doesn't look good. Well, let's try another one. That's a bad generic look. Let's see. Take this one. It looks kind of blast. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, a, a bit lighter. Well, let's see the contrast a bit more. Hidden tides. Oh, look here. We're going to try and render this and see how this looks. And this is basically how I work when I want to make um, a video and try to change it. I take different parts, you know, at least at one picture. If you're changing scenery, you have to take that scenery in account. You can't do this in a full entire clips with multiple clips. So I'm going to produce this and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back with the newly rendered, that's uh, which I used the LUTs on, this part. And as you can see, it's a big difference um, using LUTs. And LUTs is uh, quite fun to use. You can also, you know, use the color toning uh, correction. Um, but LUTs is like a pre-made. Uh, so you don't need to uh, try it out if you find a l nice LUTs for, for your clip. Uh, it's a lot... The one side is much warmer uh, than the other one. So, basically this is how you split your screen. And if you want to have several, it's the same principle. Let's just go back and we, we can make three of them. Um, fix, not, not fix and hands, I'm sorry. Designer, mass designer. And let's take a look. I just make you can make these yourself as well in like Photoshop. I'm not the best one doing that, but uh, some other people are. 
I haven't tried it yet, so let's take this. We're gonna make a third one. Uh, I'm gonna choose that one. And we're gonna copy this. Copy, and we're gonna go down, paste it, paste them over right. So we have, where did it go? There it is. No, it didn't. I have to add. All right, let's add some. Yes, yes, add, add. So we added a new one here and paste it like this. Mass designer, go in again. And take this one. And let's do something crazy with this. Um, what do we want to do? We can take another lots maybe. Let's go on a lookup table. Okay, this, take this like that and just take HDR effects on. 45, 28, 25, edge, 35, 20, and 11. I am just putting in some number, as you can see, it's very strange here right now. And let's just toss on some lots uh, we can take. Ah, oh, that looks cool. Let's render this. Now we have three, but you can adjust these however you want. Uh, as we saw on the designer on the mask, I don't need to make this this big. I can basically choose how big I want it. And as you see, it cropped down now when I'm using uh, aspect ratio, but uh, taking off maintain mask aspect ratio, you can basically, how oh, come on? You can do this and you can have 10, 20, 30, as many as you want. You can just make them and make them. And Let's just produce this as well and see how it looks. Many use the pre-fabricated -fabri ones, but I found uh, I find that very bad, and it doesn't fill. It's a gap between and stuff like that. So, well, this is my way of doing it. And when I'm when I'm having games which I want to have split uh, view on, if I'm, you know. Uh, overclocking a, a graphics card and I have the game without an overclock and with the overclock. I, I can take those beside with the, all the info, frames per second and such in each corner and it's pretty much the same picture running around uh, just to see the difference. And as you can see it takes a long time for this little clip to to render. That's why I take a small portion of the clip so I don't have to spend four hours rendering before um, before it's done and I find out, oh, oh, this doesn't look good at all. Okay, so it's done. Let's see how it looks. Yes, come on. And as you can see, it is horrible. But that's not the point. The point is that you have three different original with lots. Uh, well, that, this is not original, it's, it's with the HDR effects. But as you can see on this picture again, I like how the mountain looks. It is very, uh, I don't know what you call it, natural, you can see. This is probably more what it looks like in real life when we, when we were looking up at it. But the sky is very bad. So, but this is tweaking and stuff. This looks way too cold. And 
well, this isn't bad, but I would like to have this with this, for example. So then my next step would be make the rocks as this one and make the sky as this one, as the original. But anyways, this was a quick tutorial on how to make split screens. Um, and yeah, I've used a long, long time to make this work or figure out how this works, actually. Um, took a lot of... Uh, I couldn't find anything on the, on the net. It was just those prefabricated and really it didn't look good. And it is hard to see the difference if you don't have them like this. And if there was a space between, it's hard to see what it's what it is and what you like about what you're doing. So this is my method of having split screen, and this is the way you can you can make as many as you want, ten, thirty, as as small as you want, as many as you want, and you can fiddle around and basically find out which one is the best for you and your movie. Well. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if there is any question, just ask. Uh, yeah, have a nice weekend, guys. This is Sneaky Wolfcloth, having a little tutorial in Power Director 16. Bye, guys.